Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on July 26th. Wanted to do a special note to Libertarians and Green Party members. So here it goes. Dear Libertarians and Green Party members, this is your favorite alien. I know that. Uh, the other mainstream Americans don't like your parties because you're way out there. Well, technically you are, but if you look at the Democratic Party right now and see AOC and Omar, and you look at uh, President Trump and the Republican Party's way to the right wing there, you guys are starting to look good. I got some advice that might help you, and it's advice that my parties in my home country use. Uh, if you guys want to succeed, keep the core values, but bring your parties a little bit more to the center. Because the voters, independent and what they used to call blue dog uh, Democrats and conservative Republicans, are centrist. So bring your party more to the center, both of your parties. And start talking to people around your area. You got different uh, parties in different states, and each state has their towns. So, say you live in Marietta, Georgia, with me here. Uh, you sent me stuff. I can't vote because I'm a resident alien. But uh, just talk to people and say, you know, we're from the Libertarian or we're from the Green Party. What are your concerns with the present form of government? Let them give you the answers. Don't push your issues on them. Let the people give you the answers. And then you get candidates for, uh, say, uh, if you just want to start with uh, congressional, senatorial, and presidential. Or, and if you want to go local mayoral and local senate and uh, uh, state legislatures there. You can start there, but you need more candidates. And this is nothing against uh, Dr. Stein over there with the Green Party or Mr. Weld from the uh, Libertarians. But Mr. Weld was a Republican and way out there Republican, in fact. And Ms. Stein has got some ideas that are way out there, you know, like AOC. Uh, get some person that the people can identify with. And, and not to promote your party, okay? You still have your party goals, but make them a little behind there. Make the, uh, you know, you get like the green parties, you want the green planet, okay. But don't make that the central issue because that's not going to get you anywhere. You can, if you work on the other issues, the green issue will work itself out. Same with the libertarians. You can't be all liberal. You can't be libertarians there. You have to be a little centrist. There's a libertarian in everybody. There's also a terrorist in everybody. And there's also a totalitarianism in everybody. If you look at the normal person, he's got a little bit of everything in there. So this is what I'm saying to you two parties. The Americans are starving for something new. Look at what's happening with the Republicans and Democrats right now. I call them the growing old party instead of the, the grand old party. And the dum-dums, because the Democrats are watermelons for brains. Don't be like them. Just talk to your fellow Americans and don't push your party. Just say, what is it that you want to be changed in the government? And go from there. Get at least 18%. If each one of you gets 18%, that's 36%, okay? So that means that the Republicans and Democrats have to split the next. And the Republicans and Democrats are just getting 30% themselves. So try to get some of those unenchanted voters that think they have to vote for their party to vote for yours and push you over the, say, 20 to 30%. If you do that, that's what you need. You need four parties. They can average around 30%, and you get consensus. And that's where you rule from, consensus, not compromise. So what do you say 
libertarians and uh, Green Party members. This is your favorite alien. We'd like to have a feedback on this. Have a good day.